The Lost Feather Once upon a day, I happened to compare myself to a feather that dropped by. I didn't know why. Hence, that's me trying to figure it out, I guess. <laughs> One Monday evening, I sit at tea, watching birds, finding sea. A feather twirled harder towards me. I wonder why I compared it to me. Here's where I was out of tunes and simply continue with my simple poetry. I don't know what I was thinking. There wasn't a clear-cut picture, so I just decided to pen it down. To put it in a simple way, there was this random tea evening I was spending by my own with the random breeze hitting around, with some random number of birds chirping and flying high, and there's a weightless feather falling down, seeding a random thought while twirling around. And the thought goes like, maybe, maybe that little feather which was fearless of getting hurt was thinking about its co-flyers as to who landed up where. Like, let's say Leah, Leah his best friend. Did she get to make a place on her cowboy's hat like she always dreamt of? Or the Neil, did his passion come true in a cozy nest to give some warmth to the new birds? And the lead, did she make her journey up to the pencil head? And the jewel, was he able to dance his contemporary around a beautiful woman's neck? And the freebie, was he able to drop down on a tie back of curtains and simply enjoy the breeze? And the glimpsey, did her dream of getting into a feather boa and walking into disco lights come true? And did the archie focus it right in the boa archery? He wondered, I guess. And lastly, stressed about himself as to what exactly he wanted and why did he felt so lost? Why does anything routine doesn't interest him at all as to why so clueless he was while he flew towards our terrace territory. He kept on thinking I guess, unaware of the fact that he was destined here on a random evening on a random terrace to see the random thought in some random girl's mind and his birth had already got accomplished. After all, we are all one of those lost feathers, aren't we?